Well, it's the season people start flocking to pumpkin farms, but across the U.S., the weather has taken its toll. From rains in the Midwest to drought in California, there's a squeeze on supply. And don't forget, we've had our share of heavy rain across mid-Michigan. So how are pumpkins doing here? Ronnie Duncan goes down on the farm to find out. We were doing okay. We've been hit by some late heavy rains, and now we are losing some of our pumpkins. Angela Rensmer knows a thing or two about pumpkins with more than 40 acres of them on the side of Johnson pumpkins and she sees this year's crop as okay despite the rain in mid-Michigan. Um, so overall it's been good but it hasn't been no bumper crop. And the results are plentiful at Johnson where you can find a variety of pumpkins, all shapes, all colors, and all sizes. Now, for those who know nothing about pumpkin, you look at something like this, you go, oh, man, this will make a great pumpkin pie. But according to Angela Resmer, she says if you want a good pumpkin pie, you got to get something that looks more like this. Your jack-o'-lantern-sized pumpkins have a stringier um, meat inside of them, and so they don't really cook up as well as, say, your pie pumpkins that are sitting over here. Um, they have a much creamier texture to them, so they cook up a lot better for your uh, recipes. Thousands come by every time this year to Johnson's, and you can find pumpkin experts everywhere. Do you know what makes a good pumpkin from a bad pumpkin? He's like, get that microphone out my face. Maybe mom knows. What makes a good pumpkin from a bad pumpkin? One that you can have yummy seeds in it. As we can tell, you can decorate your pumpkins, but sometimes, even here, you can't tell a good pumpkin from a bad pumpkin. But sometimes, some pumpkins are just a little bigger. Which is the better pumpkin? Michigan State. State. <laughs> it's got to be green and white, baby.